you could probably beat him in peloton wattage. I don't think so. Because the heavier you are on a stationary bike, the, the better your, your wattage is likely to be. You don't know what you're talking about is what I'm trying to say. Watts per kilogram, I probably got him. But if we're talking watts per kilogram, I feel like I probably get got by like a, like a five-year-old. Try me. Kids are like crazy strong, considering how light they are. Like at, uh, I'll be an unsubtle pot, like the way you guys smoke in public. Um, the, at Science World, it's like a science museum in, in British Columbia, sunny British Columbia, Canada. They have a bunch of like physical fitness tests to like just teach you stuff about the human body. So they got one where you like put your, um, your feet as far out as you can and then you stretch to touch your toes and there's like a little sensor that shows you how flexible you are relative to your age group. And then there's like a reaction, hand-eye coordination thing. You might've seen like F1 drivers do it. You hit a button and then there's a bunch of buttons on the wall, they light up and you've gotta hit like 10 of them as fast as you can. Um, there's another one that is like, um, how long can you hang on a bar? Like this. So it has like a, a sensor that knows when you let go. Strong adults can dead hang for like 30 seconds, a minute. Sometimes you'll see like someone put like their three-year-old on the bar. They actually can go infinite. It's crazy. Like I would not put my daughter on it. I don't think she has that kind of upper body strength. Around like three, four, five, kids can literally just be like, like that. Forever. Like, I don't know if they would ever fall. It's the monkey reflex. I don't know if that's a real thing. It sounds funny, though. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm back. It is a real thing? It's crazy, dude. Like, I am stronger than my niece. No doubt about it. But whenever we, like, go to the playground, she can do the monkey bars, like, ta 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 And I'm like, I touch one, I use my momentum to swing to the other one, and then it's like, as soon as I touch the other one, my left hand is like, are you crazy? You're going to support your, your, your whole body weight on your left hand while moving, and then I'm just on my back in the sand. Like, the kids are so strong relative to the, the size of them. It is, it's the cube square law. My friends with, with uh, physics degrees be like, it's the cube square law. But it's true. Probably, I don't know. They do also have healing factor. It's kind of crazy. I, coming home from daycare on Wednesday, my daughter tripped over the sidewalk and fell on her face on the sidewalk. I know people are going to be like, Dan's game. Or what's the colon D? They're going to say colon D. But like it happens like once every two weeks, something like that. She fell on her, um, on her face, bit her lip. So there was a little bit of blood scraped her cheek, scraped like ab above her eye just a little bit, got a little scrape on her nose. She cried for like two minutes. She was like, mommy, mommy. And then I just like distracted her. I was like, do you want to listen to Under the Sea? You want to go to the car and listen to Under the Sea? And she's like, mommy. And I'm like, do you want to go to the car and listen to Under the Sea? And she's like, yes. And then we got in the car and she was happy. And then we got home and she was like, she was over it. Like physically, she, she still had an abrasion yesterday, but today she was looking like, like pretty much 100% copacetic. It's crazy. Yeah, you have to socially engineer your, your kids to do stuff. 
Honestly, Halloween has been like a huge advantage in that regard. Are you popping this turn? I can never remember. Because like we have a staggering amount of candy. So like whenever I need her to do something, I completely fuck up her relationship with food for the rest of her life <laughs> by going like, hey, can we wash your hands? Can we wash your hands? No, no. Can we wash, we need to wash your hands. No. Well, if you don't wash your hands, you can't have any candy. Okay. Anyway. And honestly, if she's mad at me in 20 years about that, well then like, you should have just washed your hands when I asked. If you just done it when we asked, then we wouldn't have had to resort to like, cheap tricks like that. I'm thinking, okay? Just do that. Don't overcomplicate your life. I was thinking about doing two rabbits, but then I was like, what are the chances of bacon showing up? And I'm like, well, it's high, but is it high enough to justify losing a 5'10"? That's like soon to be, first off, it's already the ideal height, but then after that, it's soon to be like, you know, like a 7'10". For now, I'm just going to give you this. So true. So very, very true. You need this. For now, why don't you just take this just to just to juice us a little bit? Hey, speaking of um, we juice them a little bit. I finally why and by final people are gonna be like, I didn't even know this movie existed, but I did. I finally saw Werewolves Within, the Ubisoft movie about Among Us, starring Sam Richardson. Also known as the other half of the Tim Robert Robertson, uh, Tim Robinson, Sam Richardson duo from Detroiters. Great movie, dude. Actually, great. Kind of like a, a, a it, it's like a perfect 90 minute Halloween horror comedy. You watch that instead of House of the Dragon? Yes. Because House of the Dragon is like, like, season one is, like, 17 hours long, right? Ten hours? No, it's not. You're going to tell me that every single episode clocked in under 60? Well, the first episode was, like, 80 minutes itself. They had to show a 20-minute compilation of Matt Smith cutting dude's genitals off. I'm gonna watch it at some point. I just need to wait until I have like a I have some time. Okay, you're gone. Why am I buffing you? You don't even justify your own existence in this game, but you don't need attack buffs. <clears throat> eh? Eh? Maybe. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. That's true. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things surround you. What more is you looking for? <laughs> under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better. Down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Can I tell you something in confidence? I don't want you to repeat this. When I sing it in my car, to my daughter, not like alone, like a psycho, to my daughter, I use the Sebastian accent, okay? Because it just doesn't sound right when I'm just singing it like in my normal voice. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. You know, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. It sounds fine. It doesn't sound as good as, you know, doing the Sebastian voice. I'm sorry to say. Use the voice? I would never. I would never. 
It's insubordinate and churlish. I don't know. You take the buff for now. You take a lynx. The lynx take the... No? Okay, we're not gonna... We're not gonna... Don't do the voice. Sure, sure. No, no, I like sniping. Sniping's more fun. Imme immediately validated. That's a strong crab. Even the sturgeon and the ray, they get the urge and start to play. Thoughts on Canucks giving up three goals in the third last night? Thoughts on the only Canucks games I get to watch being the ones where they get their asses kicked, and then the games that I don't get to watch, the ones where 13 goals are scored and they win 8-5? Any thoughts on that? Any thoughts on me having the most insanely bad luck watching uh, my team play hockey this year? Thoughts on the Kraken this year? I haven't even I haven't seen half of the Canucks games. You think I'm watching the Kraken for sport? Like I'm not a masochist. Go ahead, shoot my worst units. See if I care. Oh no. Oh no, the lemon! Thoughts on the Peng wins, Peng losing? I'll give you a plus two for that. A lot of people might say that's a little cheap, but I'll give you a plus two on that one. There's some humorousness. A certain humorosity, I suppose. Who's taking a lemon? Be reasonable. Look at your squad. Look at your squad and tell me who's inheriting a lemon here. I personally, maybe this is a little biased, I feel like this squad should be doing better. <laughs> Just because I have a lot of levels. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Does Tiger Parrot work? Tiger Parrot, she can do bad all by her damn self? Only one way to find out? Well, people say that, but there's two ways to find out. I could ask chat. Links me. I don't think we're living after this, but I could be wrong. Wait, that felt amazing. <laughs> Wait a minute. We we're back. We got the spirit, you got to hear it under the freaking sea, man. Look at this. That's seven wins and the tiger got even stronger. It's like three level two lynxes. Oh, this is a strong team, though. But it's not... Uh, it might still be stronger than me. No, <laughs> oh, let's go! What have they got? A lot of sand. We've got a hot crustacean band. Let me live for one more. I would love to, just to push a little level three in this, man. It's another strong looking team. I hate to see a lemon. Two units living is pretty bad for me. No! Still, that was fun. That was a fun squad. I have no memory of the last 90 minutes of, of playing this game. But none of the runs have been that horrible. Unsubtle pots, we got the seven on that one. Did the squats really take that much out of you? No, it just like, I mean, I'm over the squats now. My, my cardio conditioning is pretty good. I mean, like, let me, let me give you my heart rate right now. I'm going to say low 70s. I'm going to make an estimate that it's in the low 70s right now. 
I'll be the usual suspects. Why don't you power clean? Because I'm like 33 years old and I don't want to like blow out every joint in my body in my 40s just to impress a bunch of people on the internet with how big my lips <laughs> Sorry, I'm going too far. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who am I? Like, if you're like 16 and you're figuring out what you want to do with your life, okay, go ahead. Like, power clean. Become like a power lifter. Go to meets and stuff like that. I got like... I got to get... I, I got to get built for comfort, you know, not for speed. Power cleans are great for football. Okay, any askers in the chat? Like, I don't understand the... How do you know someone does uh, powerlifting? Don't worry, they'll tell you. Also, you'll be able to tell when you see them because they're gonna look freaking huge, probably. But I lived. I'm leaving? I'm not insulting lifting. Like, lifting is great. I just like, pe people that get too into lifting, I say that as someone who's, who's kind of been there, at least for a little bit, like, is very annoying. They, cause you, you think that like, oh, they never insult lifting. That's just something lifters do about cardio. Okay. Bro, why would I, why would I ever work out for the purpose of like improving my physical health? When instead I could lift heavy weights, eat 3,700 calories a day, constructively put on 75 pounds of like, uh, of mass and then lift a big rock. Well, maybe because, like, I'd rather live, like, an extra, like, 10 years than lift a big rock four times when I'm 37. They, they, they both have their place. I'm just saying, like, you know, people are, like, a little too, they're too comfortable acting like lifting is, like, the only way to work out as a man. Like, why don't you lift, bro? Well, because I'm like, I mean, a lot of reasons. <laughs> One is that I don't care, I guess. <laughs> the other one is I don't have a lot of time. And those 5-3-1 workouts were getting long, dude. They're getting like long as hell. And yet you shame people for using the elliptical? Well, I just thought like the elliptical, I honestly thought that it was like a 90s, 2000s thing. And then people just went, why am I, why am I doing this? It did, like this, this just so heavily screams like 54 year old dad in 2003 team. I didn't know that it was still, um, I didn't know that it was still in vogue. I just find it like very boring. That's my my quote unquote problem with the uh, with the elliptical. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm sorry to do this. I have a child. I'm married. It's time consuming. I'm a streamer. I don't want to do it. I'm too old. Listen, you would probably have a lot of excuses not to do shit too if every day you had eight thousand people trying to get you interested in their own individual hobbies. Play magic. I don't want to. It's too much time. Lo, this excuse again. Why don't you get into baking? Why don't you get into coupon cutting? Oh, I just don't feel like it's worth my time. Oh, I forgot. You have 8,000 viewers. You don't need to cut coupons. Hey, why don't you get into gardening? Why don't you get into um, um, making your own... Why don't you build your own uh, smokehouse and start making your own smoked salmon like me? Because there's fucking 8,000 of you and you're all doing different shit. I can't, I can't embody every single one of your interests at the same time as one man. Commander doesn't take that much time. Command, no, command. If you play one game of Commander a week, you would still have like thirty minutes of free time monthly left over. There's just a, I can't I can't do it all. I can't even do some really for the most part. But people don't want to hear the answer, which is like you know people go, hey, why don't you get in the hobby that I'm into? And the answer is because like it doesn't seem that interesting to me. You know, how about I choose my hobby, you choose your hobby, and then we, you know, meet up for dinner once a month and, and talk about, like, how busy we are. That's, that's the real spirit of adult life, I think. It's not like all of my friends have to be into absolutely everything that I'm into at the same time. Like, that's like how, a, like, a third grader feels about friends. That sounds miserable. 
Everybody sounds miserable. <laughs> Have you looked at chat? People be like, uh, doing the dishes. That sounds depressing. I'm like, look at your post history. Everything is just like, look at how depressed I am. Why, why are you projecting? There's fulfillment in it. It's a quiet fulfillment, sure. Life can't all be, you know, Hatsune Miku can't concerts at the Key Bank Arena. Okay, give me this. Somebody's got to clean up after the, after the Miku patrons leave the concert. You know they're leaving granola bar wrappers all over the damn ground right next to the garbage can. My Zen time folding laundry. So can I tell you, I had to do some administrative stuff yesterday. Took about, I'm gonna say, took about 45 minutes. So I finished the stream at two. I've got until 4.40, so I got two hours, 40 minutes. Ate lunch, that took about 15 minutes. Did the, the administrative stuff I had to do, it took about 30 minutes. So it's all, we were approaching three. I got like an hour and 40 minutes. I was like, I could do, I could record like two Super Auto Pets episodes and maybe three if I really pushed it. I looked at myself and said, I'm not really feeling it. My voice was a little hoarser yesterday. I thought it would be a good time to take a break. You know what I did? Like a, like a crazy person, 3 p.m. Pacific time on a Thursday, changed the damn sheets. Stripped the bed, put on a new fitted sheet, took the duvet out of the duvet cover, put a new duvet cover on, changed the pillowcases, washed and dried the bedding. Had a bunch of my own laundry that had just been sitting in the dryer because I couldn't find the time to fold it. Took the, all the laundry out of the dryer and folded it while listening to a podcast. And I was like, you know what? I feel, I feel incredible. One of the finest chore minds I've ever known. Okay, I like this. I can live with this. I can respect this. Who'd you listen to? You don't want to know, because it's not fucking, you know, it's not Comedy Bang Bang. As much as I love Comedy Bang Bang, I was listening to a new episode of Animal Spirits. Because normally I listen to Animal Spirits. I listen to all, I like to listen to all my economics podcasts when I take the baby out for a, a walk, but I was not able to, probably realistically, I'm not able to take the baby out for a walk this weekend because it's going to rain like crazy, so I got to find another time to listen to my, uh, to listen to my economics podcast. Start me here. It's good, but like, so what? You know what I mean? Okay. Seven life. It's the same damn team every time. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm literally just like, it's pattern recognition. I'm just rolling until I see a unit that like I already have. And I'm like, oh, Pog. I know this unit. But it is, it's doing pretty well, honestly. Like, what is this? That's win five? That's not bad at all. For round eight, especially. Go ahead. This would be a team where, to be honest, it would be nice to have a scaler. Like, to add a monkey, we'd get better buffs out of our... Uh, out of our kangaroo as a result. That, that, that's the kind of thing that could matter a lot. You do okay, but you never win. Excuse me, I, I got 10 wins on my very first run of the day. What the hell are all these ads? So listen. No, no. Okay, so da at, can someone at Daddy Doug with what I'm saying right now? Because they can't uh, hear me because they're getting ads. It's, they, 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 you're, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, okay? I, like, basically don't run ads during the stream. I might run, like, two minutes of ads a day when I go to the bathroom, right? But because I don't run ads, anytime someone comes to the stream, they get pre-rolls like crazy. So you gotta, like, if, if you weren't here during the stream, then you get, like, at the start of the stream, then you get hit with, like, seven ads when you join the stream because I don't run ads during the stream. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I 
I get pre-rolls no matter what. I don't know why streamers say that shit. Well, you, I mean, you're not subscribed. It's not a lie. It's just like, you know. I mean, if you show up when the stream's not, when the stream's already on, yeah, you're going to get a pre-roll no matter what. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're saying. I'm like, I, I, listen, we don't need to get into it. We talk about the ad stuff like every week and it's genuinely like a who cares gaming sort of moment. It's, it might sound hypocritical because I am like um, the guy who for a year ran a podcast about what it's like to stream on Twitch. People wouldn't understand how hard it is. Oh my God, we killed their shark. But like, and it, Chibli, if you're going to be here soon, this is not specifically about you. But I'm like, why are you guys talking about ads so much? Not not you, the chatters, but like, why, why are all the streamers I watch opening their stream with the discussion about ads? I'm like, it's not... It's my business. Like, it's not... You're, you're just like... You got me up on the second monitor. Really? Oh, I can't wait to see NL today. I'd love to hear a 45-minute stun lock about what he thinks about the ad-supported content model on Twitch and whether it's the optimum strategy for a Twitch streamer's bottom line to run ads using the ad incentive model or you run ads at the top of the hour or run 30 seconds of ads every eight minutes or like... Who cares, man? Just like tell a joke. <laughs> tell you're oh, you're funny? You're like a professional streamer? Okay, make me laugh then. Like what's the We got it all backwards, man. On Twitch, I'm I'm very friendly. From an advertising context exclusively. I um I only run ads when I go to the bathroom. The YouTube videos are like, you know, 27 minutes long. They have a mid-roll, a post-roll. They have two mid-rolls, a post-roll, and a pre-roll. But something's telling me that many of you have never noticed that. <laughs> so, um, so everybody else pays the price. Said he would get a scaler rolled past every scaler. That's true, but I also love my snipers. I don't think they give me a better chance of winning, but I do love when they blow up the enemy team shark. That's pretty nice. Oh, my whole team is dead? Fine, I'll put down my weapon. Did you disable elevated chat? Yes. I didn't want people to be able to pay me money in order to get their message uh, pinned in chat for like up to five minutes. I would feel compelled to respond to it. I think it would be, it's, it's extremely, I would be so annoyed. Do you, we, you do you, King. We support you getting the bag. Shut the fuck up, you fucking. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Then just don't respond? Yeah, but then it would be like, you don't understand. You know, if someone paid like 50 bucks and their message is like, hey, NL, uh, your content got me through some really hard times. I just wanted to shoot it back and say thank you. And then it sat at the top of chat for like five minutes and I didn't reply to it. And then like, you know, thousands of people are like, why is he not replying to this? Like, does he, it's just, it's like, not, it's not the kind of environment that I want to like cultivate on my, on my stream, you know? It's just, I don't, it's just, it's just kind of like, it's just, I'm like, it's just, it's just kind of like, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going twisted mode. I'm going to give you a lemon. I'm going to, Buy a monkey. Haven't you always wanted a monkey? And um, I'm just going to buff you slightly. This is bad. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe it's not so bad. We're not that drunk. It's not so bad. What if your streams did get me through some hard times, though? Well, that's actually great. 
The problem is not that my streams got you through some hard times. The problem is that you gave me fifty dollars to force me to acknowledge it in in public in front of like five thousand people, which is very like I don't know. It's not the it's just not the kind of thing I would. It's just kind of like you know. It's not the environment I'm trying to. It's not the. La 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 la. You know what I mean? Sato Mori, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Got you through some hard times. I really respect that. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Just take the compliment. I mean, you could pay like, you know, you could, I guess you could pay like $50 and be like, nice stream. And then I would be like, whoa, thanks so much. Well, you're, when, I, 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 look, I'm not good with those sensitive issues, you know? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Could we live here? I'm going to say there's no shot we die on this round. Dolphins. That's cute. Yeah, let's see how you feel when the links start running wild, brother. Oh no, my squad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey, Sailor Grumpy Cat. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then um, that was that was seven. It's still pretty good. And then run it back. I don't know. We'll just run it back one more time because I think I, I've got to go to the bathroom after this round. So we'll run it back, and then I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. But I do know that now, having said that, I've cursed myself to a chat full of shit that I don't want to play, which is fine. I should know by now that that's, that's the cross you bear. Let me be a space piggy. Yep, Victoria 3. It is, yep, it's going to be Victoria 3. Thank you for your patience. We're going to be playing uh, <laughs> a little bit. Of... It's the perfect time. Can I tell you, I, I went to the, the Victoria 3, or uh, as people with lots of friends call it, Vicky 3. I went to the Steam page. And you know, I like on the Steam pages now, they'll have like streamers' videos playing and stuff like that. They had like an edited video of a streamer playing the game. And again, I remember when I was in the grand strategy, but I was watching this guy play it and I was like, I can't ha handle this. Like, with no disrespect. Yes, we've annexed Louisiana. Next, we need to use some of the spoils of war to invent hot water boilers. Hot water boilers will allow us to get uh, improved tool production, which raises the standard of living for our middle class. They're now living a life of decadence as, as opposed to merely sustenance. And I'm like, this is too many variables, man. Let me get, let me get health and attack. That's it. I can't, I, that's just too, it's menu, menu, click on this menu, it opens a menu. Oh, uh, and then you made hot water boilers. Do you wanna, do you wanna uh, spec them towards throughput or do you wanna spec them towards efficiency? And you're like, well, if you go for throughput, that can really help you get a lot of uh, infantry out there. But if you go for efficiency, that can really lead to like getting an early pre-dreadnought class ship that you could use when the, the Confederate States of the United, uh, the United States of America go to war in the early, mid 1860s. Like it's just, it's, it's too much, man. It's too complex for me. Why would boilers give you more infantry? Because the boilers allow the industry to work 2% more efficiently, which allows them to produce 10% uh, more guns using 6% less copper, which is good because the copper mine in the Sierra Nevada is slowly starting to get depleted, and then it's a, like, it just never ends, man. Copper guns, lull. Listen, I don't, obviously I don't know what I'm talking about. That should be like self-evident from the jump. Yeah, give me Cook, Serve, Delicious 3 where I'm just like Latru Salad, Latru Salad. My God, we won. 
no level this turn. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. That's, you know what? That's pretty true. But it worked. Somehow it worked. Roll me. I'm going to say roll me. I'm going to say roll me once more. Somehow I manage. Great reference. Great reference. Okay. Well, like now I'll buy the broccoli. Is the baby old enough to play kids' board games yet? Yeah, not like um, like Monopoly or like Candyland. We have a board game that's like um, there's like a, a it's a stand of a pig with like a pig's mouth open right around here, and then like a bunch of foods. You roll a dice and then you pick up a card that matches the color on the dice, and then the card will say like feed the pig some broccoli. So we roll the dice together and then I. I, I'm like, feed the pig some broccoli, and then she looks for the broccoli and puts it into the piggy's mouth. So that's where we're at right now. No, I would say she wouldn't be very good at Splendor right now. But, you know, we're, like, working on it. <laughs> I'm just going to pop you down there. I, I support the double sniper right now. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You're going to get buff. This is a weird team. When are you going to let her play sap? I mean, it takes a... It's not like a let her... So, I mean, I get that the question is a joke. I'm not... I'm, I might be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Um, but, like, she can't. Yet. She's not there yet. I feel like... I kind of... Before I had a kid, I forgot what it was like to be a kid. I sort of thought that, like, zero to three was like a baby and then like three to 90 was like, there you go. Like you got, you got all the brain you need, kid. Obviously you're gonna get smarter up to a point and then you're gonna get dumber. But I, I, I think I underestimated how much a, a human being needs to learn in order to be functional. Like, I don't think you can teach a two-year-old how to play chess, which is kind of crazy because, like, she's starting to read a little bit. And she start, she's being real cheeky with it, too. Like, I'll, oh, so, some books, when I, like, show her the picture, I'm, I guarantee that she looks at the picture and she just remembers what the page associated with this picture sounds like. But, like, some, I'm like, she's reading the occasional words here. And also, we have, like, a Peppa Pig um, iPad game. And she's sort of, like, she's figured out that you can, like, there's jigsaw puzzles and she can sort of put them together with a little bit of work. I don't know if you could teach a kid to play chess, though. Like, or the, a kid, obviously. A two-year-old? I don't know. I feel like five is pretty realistic. Because they got to be able to sit down for that length of time, too. And, like, actually focus. You started at two? Yeah, like, don't take this the wrong way, but how do you know that? That's secondhand knowledge. That's hearsay. It's inadmissible in the court of law. You don't remember that. You were two years old. It's pre-memory. Could have been, like, your, your mom or your dad sat you down and was like, this is chess, and you just took the pieces and went... And they were like, okay, we'll try again next year. You know what I mean? Pictures? Yeah, those don't tell the whole story. I got a, a very smart two-year-old. I mean, she's like, she's not 2.9. She's like 2.08 right now. But like, I don't think she's, she's ready for chess. I think she could be ready for chess age three sometime. But I think age four or five is like, is more, is more realistic. Are you going to teach her? Yeah, I feel like, um, you know, because I... Dolphin. Oh, hold on. Because like, I'm not trying to gas myself up. Because I'm like a 1200, 1300, 1400 level player. Somewhere in there, depending on the day. I feel like I should 
teach my daughter chess at the youngest age possible so she can basically smurf and get some free self-confidence. I'm not saying she's going to... Like, th there could be a dad at the school that she goes to that's a 2,000. But even to come second in the chess tournament, well, there'll be some... You get a silver medal, right? You get some self-esteem. Right? And then, like, that's... You kind of have to bootstrap, like, a kid's confidence, right? Or a mom, that's true. Or a mom, sorry. But, like, you have to bootstrap a kid's confidence. You got to be like, hey, well, you know, we're going to, like, get you to really good at something... And then I'm going to introduce you to Gen Pop and all the other kids are going to be like, we don't even know how the horse moves and you're just going to steamroll them. And then you can decide if you want to construct your self-esteem in the future on the very fickle nature of your results in a board game, you know? And then she'll be devastated when she encounters actual difficulty. Yeah, but that's like... Um, I'm not combining them. That's... Um, an important step in life, I think. That's part of it. Like, I think you gotta, you know, maybe your kid gets to be age 10, they've never lost a chess game, and except maybe, like, against their coach, and then they go to, like, a regional tournament, and they get beaten by someone better than them, and then they cry, and then you're like, it's not that embarrassing that they're crying, as long as they're 10 and not 22. But, um, you know, that's that's the... That's what you got to learn. You got to, you, that's the vaccination for like your emotions in real life. That's the inoculation period. What's the chinchilla doing? Good point. Very good point. Dolphins. I would add a crocodile next turn. I, pineapples, yes, please. That could have gone worse. You can cry at 22 if you want to. Yeah, like privately. I'm sorry, I'm just being toxic for no reason. <laughs> but, it's, but it's kind of funny, right? It's kind of endearing. Maybe, no, okay, whatever. I cry a lot now, I cry, and I wanna cry more often than I cry. I almost cried, like, when my, when my daughter got hurt, like, outside of the daycare. Save. I, like, everything, it's like adrenaline. She didn't get hurt badly, to be clear, but it's, there's adrenaline. You're like, I gotta make sure my kid is safe. I gotta make sure they know that, like, daddy's here, right? And then, um, like, I got her in her car seat. I drove her home. We were, like, singing songs together. And then when I opened the door, I was, like, I looked at her in the car seat, and I was, like, I wanted to cry. I was, like, she's so brave. She fell down, like, but, but a few moments ago. And she's already smiling again. Look, and, like, you know, that's the sort of stuff that, I mean, it gets you. Now when I, like, lose a game, I just get angry. I don't want to cry. I don't get sad. That was, like, when I was a child. <laughs> no, we should roll for dupes. Are you going to cry during uh, Black Panther 2. How would I know? I've never, um, I haven't seen the film yet. I mean, if there's any semblance of the pathos of the original, then I would say that there's a relatively strong chance, but, but I, there's no way I could responsibly say that in advance. But I will say, like, I, those kinds of movies only make me cry in the theater. There's something about, like, the surround sound of like, um, you know, like your your the screen takes up your entire field of view, and the Dolby Atmos is shaking your seat and stuff like that, and then the music goes da 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 da, na, na, na. At home, I only cry to like understated foreign dramas like Minari. What was that vibrato? Yeah, I don't really know where that came from either. Just being honest, would love to know your thoughts. 
I cried at Rings of Power. Hold on, hold on. Is this enabled? Points and laughs. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just jo Cry Crying is a good thing. I'm just joking. In my head, I knew that it was mean, but you know what would have been more mean than saying the mean thing? Is depriving the audience of the good emotions that they got from the joke. In many ways. I'll take my draw. Like that was a utilitarian joke. One person got really sad, but a lot of people, it brought a smile to their face. More, more. It's for the greater good, precisely. I was just joking anyway. Oh, dude, it feels so good to be a chatter. I was just joking anyway. Copium, cop, bat chest, rings of power, copium. I was just joking, copium. You see what it's like? It's not so easy on the other side of the screen, is it? He's uniting the streamer and the and the the chatter kingdom. Oh, by the way, you get to seven all the time, but you never win. Yeah, well, enjoy when other people win your points, hater. I took that personally. Okay, slash marker. That's super auto pets. 